All right, good night, everybody. <laughs> Don't start singing. Welcome to Smash Writing. I am Paul. This is Justin. Today, Justin decided we were going to review Van Helsing, and I think he some he's instantly regretted that. No, I don't think I instantly regretted it. Not like you regret the exorcist. Okay, that will live in the <laughs> history books of my life for many, many years to come. This is not the record. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, that was a bad movie. We knew that. I praised Exorcist for the longest time, and then I just gave up on it. Uh, so, Van Helsing. I actually saw it in theaters. When Van Helsing did? came out, yeah, I saw it in theaters. Now, this was this is when, obviously, this is during the X-Men films, and this was a huge part of uh, Hugh Jackman's career. So yeah. You, you probably got him in, like, so many more movies that he was just... Uh, you know, because you had to ride that way. Yeah. Go, go and give us the plot. But, uh, well, the movie starts off with a black and white opening. It gave me some nostalgia for when I saw the theaters. <laughs> we see Frankenstein, he's awakening Frankenstein's monster. And the town folks are coming. They're yeah. coming for him, they got the pitchforks and everything, they're ready. Yarr! But, uh, Dracula shows up, and you find out that Dracula's the one who brought Frankenstein to the castle and gave him everything he needed. Yeah, and that was that, a good little twist. Yeah, and now that Frankenstein's monster is alive, it's now time for him to take him off. <laughs> Frankenstein's not having anything to do with that, but Frankenstein Dracula kills him as just as the monster is coming to. Yes, because Frankenstein didn't want his work to be associated with like with the evil. He made yeah. it like I but a creepy guy shows up to your door and gives you no, the you, Yeah, no, it's Dracula. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know he's Dracula. He shows up at your door. No, no, he brought him to the castle. He gave him the castle. Yeah, I mean, like, all yeah. signs have put this is not going to be a good plan. I mean, this is not a business partner for you. <laughs> but a Frankenstein knocks Dracula into the town through the fire, and he takes the body of Frankenstein and runs off to the windmill. And uh, Igor calls out to him and either looks the villagers to wherever he's going. <laughs> Igor had the best, one of the best lines when he's like, <laughs> Frankenstein's like, I thought you were my friend. And he's like, Yeah, but he it pays me. <laughs> But, uh, the villagers burned down the windmill and they burned the monster and the body all crumbled to presume death. Too much to Dracula's sugar in. We needed that monster. Yeah. But we jump off to, um, England, I believe we're in. Yeah, it's England. It's and, uh, we see wanted posters with Van Helsing's face on it. And he's hunting, uh, Mr. Hyde. A big monster. It's killing all these people. And there's a big fight between the two of them, and uh, Van Helsing ends up getting the win. And uh, by knocking him off. Well, he didn't knock him off the building. Uh, Van uh, High trips and falls off the building. Right. And it sends him to his death. And just as he's about four hits the ground, he reverts back to Jack Hole and slaps. <laughs> so all of the, so the villagers only see the body of Jack Hole and think, again, that Van Helsing is a murderer. Right. And he, he goes to the church, and... Um, then we see that the church is operating as Monster Hunter Central. <laughs> That's the Van, true. The Van Helsing had lost his memory some time ago before he got to the church. And uh, him hunting monsters, according to the Cardinal, is his repentance for whatever he did. Okay, yeah. And he's sent to Transylvania to help this family. The mm -hmm. royal family of Transylvania. Yeah. yeah. Nine generations ago, made a deal... A pact that none of their family members would get into the gates of heaven until Dracula is back. But Dracula was, he, he was a family member. Yeah, well, we find that out later. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, Dracula is, um, pretty much killed off the entire family line. There's only two of them left now. So the Cardinal wants Van Helsing to go and help this family out before they're stuck in purgatory. My grandfather, great great grandfather. Also, the, they have a parchment and it has the emblem of Van Helsing's ring on it. And there might be answers for his past in Transylvania. So, armed with his tolls and a friar, we'll talk about him <laughs> They go off to Transylvania. And the moment they get there, they're absconded by the town. He does not like them. Yeah. And, uh, oh, I wish I hadn't written her name down. That would have been good. But, uh, the one, the, theme, the woman, who's now the only one left, the brother was taken out by, uh, Kate Beckinsale's character. Yeah. You know, I, was, I did not, like, it's crazy, I didn't, 
she did not okay. look like Kate because I'm so used to her from the Underworld series. Yeah, yeah. Her she did not look like Kate Beckinsale to me. This probably helped her a lot getting that role. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, uh, this came out in like 07 or so. 04. Underworld started before that. Uh, it, it just says Underworld is trending. <laughs> <It doesn't tell laughs> I swore Underworld was 03. Oh, 03. Oh, three. So this. Yeah, this was after. My bad. So Underworld helped her get this. Yeah, story. exactly. But uh, where were we? Uh, Anna, her name's Anna. And uh, she's going to try to disarm them, but Van's like, no. <laughs> so that she orders them to be killed, but that's when the bribes of uh, Dracula attack. Right. Uh, big long fights between these th- between the three brides and probably the longer than I wanted. Yeah, it definitely stretches. Because then but, it's just uh, like, all right, you clearly are not killing them. Move on to the next scene. Uh, red bride and black bride will call them that hair color. <laughs> okay. Uh, they got Anna pinned. Like they're about to bite her, and uh, Van gets the drop on the blonde. And kills her with holy water and his crossbow machine gun. And and they, they sense it, like that's what Yeah, they sense her to the death, and that's what sends them fleeing from the village. <laughs> and uh how did this go? Anna is hell bad on going hunting. Yeah. And Van's like, No. No, you're <laughs> not. You're you're it. <laughs> you're staying with me. And we hunt in the day. As he ends up knocking her out. And at the same time, uh, Dracula sends the werewolf to go down brother. there. And it, it turns out it's her brother because they killed the other wolf. And the werewolves are indentured to Dracula. Yeah, because nobody wants to. And basically her brother became I a didn't replacement say, werewolf. Well, and he was... I know they were fighting the werewolf in the beginning. Yeah. The but what I missed was, I didn't think he got touched by the werewolf. Uh, I think it's when they went over the waterfalls when he gets cut. Okay, okay. But uh, the brother shows up at that castle as a werewolf and is like trying to warn her, and she's not listening really. And he eventually becomes a werewolf, and Van Helsing chases him off and trying to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> but they track him down to um, Frankenstein's castle. Yep. And time to see. Uh, the brother being strapped down to a table and being used to give birth to the babies. The Dracula's babies. Yeah, that that was something else. Yeah. Like, I, uh, but we'll get to that. But, uh, but we do get the first meeting here between Dracula and Van Helsing, who keeps calling him Gabriel. Yeah. And obviously knowing more about Van Helsing. But he, Van Dracula also shrugs, shrugs off all of his attacks. Nothing he's doing is sticking to him. But uh, they do finally manage to make it away. She's pissed off with Van Helsing for him continuing to try to kill her brother. Despite her confessing now that she, he's not his brother anymore. Yeah, <laughs> really. And she's, he's really not his dog now. He's full werewolf. Yep. But uh, they fall through the ground at the windmill. Which kind of shows you how close they are. Like, why did they stop chasing them? They're really close. They're next door. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But they fall through the ground and they see the Frankenstein monster still alive. And he stays down there because he, he's smart enough to know he's he knows that. He knows he's the key to... He's not a monster anymore. It's just, yeah. just a disfigured person. But uh, he, before, like, tra- he gets tranquilized dark like 12 times, right? Very nice. He's not fucking around with those dogs. <laughs> but he, before he passes out, he says he's the key to awakening the babies. Yeah. There's thousands more. And and Dracula implies that at the beginning of the film too that Frankenstein was the uh, key, key yeah. to the future of the vampires or whatever. But uh, so, but unfortunately, the werewolf sees him because he he knows they're next door. <laughs> he was ordered to hunt and kill them, but when he sees the monster, he runs back to tell Dracula. Yeah, because there's now there it changes the plans. So yeah, they plan to take him to Rome now, but they don't make it to Rome because. Of course they don't make it to Rome. <laughs> no. But he does set up a trap in one of the carriages and takes out that was the, a good trap. the black red fire stone. That was a good trap. They, they they set, like, for the story birds, they set it up for us not to see that. Yeah, but who didn't see that coming? That is I was true. 14 when this movie came out and saw it coming. 
<laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> but uh, they do get uh, cut off by the werewolf at the right mall, though. But they end up taking Anna and not Frankenstein. Right. So he knocks out Frank. He also, in the process, he kills the werewolf, but is infected with the werewolf. Yeah, because so, he got scratched up. Yeah. So he's now got a running clock, and they got to get him in the back, but they want to drink. And, uh, and Dracula it. knows that they make, he makes note. He's like, Drac- uh, he's like, he does a line, he has, you know, Van, he's like, Van Helsing's yeah. going to be here. Yeah, um, when uh, we see uh, Anna again, she's at the ball with uh, Dracula doing the dance. And, it, and, it's and she's like, a he'll bit. not trade, he's not going to do this trade. He's like, I know. I'm not going to do the trade. He's not going to do the trade. We don't play for half seas. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, sure enough, you know, Van Helsing manages to get her back off of him. But what he didn't know was everyone there was a vampire, and they were in the graveyard. They hit Frankenstein, and they now not Frankenstein. Yeah. Monster. Not Frankenstein. But uh, we're going to talk about that thing um, with classic monsters yes. uh, in, in a couple of weeks. Is I but go on. But uh, they uh, do solve the mystery of where the door is and that they need a werewolf to kill Dracula, but they only have till the twelfth stroke of midnight before he falls full trans and full enslavement to Dracula. Well I thought it was just that he would become full. No, he would be stuck under a vampire spell. Uh, or Dracula's. I control. thought I was under the impression that. Well, he was. They, they call it. They yeah. keep calling it a cure. Yeah, but said, it, but you had to get to a certain point. Yeah, I didn't know it was the transfer. Of Dracula it was just more. Or less. He would. He would be werewolf, and he would be. It was just both things. Okay, so it's all in. Point. Yeah, so you get them fighting at the castle, trying to keep these babies from being born, and uh, werewolf Van Helsing starts fighting Dracula. He kills Dracula. But Anna tries to stay in and try to give him the cure. He kills Anna in the softest tackle. <laughs> but uh, she does. Our coming back. <laughs> well, here we'll get to that scene. He does get cured, but she does not survive. She so they give her the Viking funeral. No, I'm going to call it the Viking funeral. Like when they burn her, kind of do. And you see Frankenstein going off in the distance on his little raft. And then Van Helsing looks, looks up, up and sees the ghosts in the sky. And he reunited you know, with her family. And uh, we cut the black the movies over. Um, happy ending. So where would you like to start here? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> let's start with the positives, as always. Uh, yeah, let's start. Give me what's the positive. Uh, my first positive, Dracula. I think this Dracula is amazing. I like, I like his, you know, his laid back. Yeah, powerful. When style. he start, like when he, him and first, him and Van Helsing first meet, I love that movie. He's like, you know, normally when I track in someone, I can dance to the beat of their he's heart. He's cocky, but he's not. But he's at not the same time, heart is steel. <laughs> yeah, he he, you know, he preys on you pretty well. I also like how that when he's like in his ca- in his castle and stuff, he how he hangs upside down and walks up yeah. and down. I like that it was a good touch to Fred. Like he's, he's good. just walking around like this. Yeah, he's, he's a vampire. He's on the wall. He's on the ceiling. He's wherever the hell he Now the camera work, the the rotating, make it all it was impressive. I did yeah. enjoy that. Uh, I I love the vampire. The what else? The werewolf. The werewolves in this movie. I love that design. I know they're heavily CGI and everything, but I love that look. Yeah, I agree. I, I the CGI. I'm well. Would you get that look in practical effects, though? No, I, I may, no, I don't think so. So that's why, like, I always say CGI is a good, it's a good thing in a bad thing. You gotta know when to use it. Obviously, this was a good time to use it. The um, the werewolves did look oh, good. Oh, God, who googled is the story of Van Helsing true? Jesus, wrong well, with you. <laughs> 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 but Damn uh. You. I do, li- I do like some of the weapons he uses. Yeah, the weapons were a, a, a nice little... Not like a realistic touch, but a yeah. fun touch. Yeah, That's fun what, touch, yeah. Like, I, I do like the fun twist on him being this bona fide action monster hunter. hunter. I do like that. As opposed to like the good doctor we saw. And the classical. The old classical. I like yeah. this spin on him more. I would like a hybrid. Like, 
you can almost play it off as both. If he would have been just independent, it would have been better, I think. Ward's yeah. alone, kind of the old. Yeah, an independent contract. If he would have dropped the church from this, I would have loved it. I felt like that was a little stupid. I really did. But more of a positive. Well, that, to me, that's a call out. Yeah. Um... Whoever they got to play, Kevin J. O'Connor, he played Igor, was really good. I thought Igor was really good. He has the best one liner. <laughs> he paid me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll betray my friends if you I loved it when Elvin Van Helsing is interrogating him. He's like, Where's the cure? He's like, Tower over there. What's in that one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he was, he, that was a, <laughs> that was a good one. That was really a good one. I, I can't find them. Any, I can find like, well, I can obviously find their names, but I don't know which one's which to save my life. The Vampire Brides. I love the Vampire Brides. The Redhead especially. Yeah. I wish they had more I in this think movie because they could have done so much more. For they were me, so charismatic. For me to like them, I think it, they needed to be in, in more. Yeah, they, they should have had more. They were really good in what they had. Um, especially them tormenting Anna. Like, I really would. I could have sent, like, another 20 minutes of them for many minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and as... Frankenstein. I liked Frankenstein. The monster. <sighs> I did like him being a key, because I figured, you know, you were able... He needed more. Because you only got to see, like, brief sparks of... And the sarcasm from him was a it was an entertaining touch. Yeah. Like, he, like, he threw out some good one-liners back at him. And, like, I thought, like... I could have, like, watched a fight scene with him, and we didn't really get enough fight scenes with Frank. Okay. Um, the friar you were talking about before earlier. Yeah, uh, we'll talk about him later. Uh, he must be a con. <laughs> uh, I do like the world. I do like the world of all these monsters involved. Yeah, and I, I, I like it that <sighs> Dracula is something different, because I don't think the public... Knew no Dracula was a vampire. Well, they knew he's a vampire in the forties because they they were like kept approaching him, garlic and giving them stuff to fight the vampire. Well, yeah, well, I'm saying Transylvania yeah. knew, but outside of that, uh, to be fair, it was just the cardinal who knew the monster hunter patrol. Oh no, God, yeah, that 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 element still. Yeah, I really me. like that was so James Bondy. Yeah, the Friar is your own cue. Yeah, yeah, that him being, you know, like, I'm designing all these weapons for you to use. Okay, let's go with the claws, because keep talking about this Okay. Well, well, I hated the fucking fry. <laughs> no God, kidding. he's annoying as shit. It's like saying, go, oh, well, go to bed with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> saves her. Immediately just wants to go to bed with her. And she's like, oh, can I repay you? And like, the, the one thing. He leans in and whispers. So it's like, and like, the next day they're together. Like, you know what he whispered. And it's crazy to be like, oh, yeah. wait, you work for an Good agency. to be a good guy, you know? <laughs> you work for an agency that hunts monsters that's part of the church. And the first thing, you know, that you save somebody's life, and it's such like, a good deal. You're a friar. <laughs> And the first thing you think of is, well, you can... Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Let's have sex. <laughs> His jokes weren't funny. He was not entertaining. He dragged the movie down with his mere presence alone. Yeah, he were, He's on the bridge, too. He's got the vaccine, and they're trying to hurry. And the bridge gets blown down, and he's like, I need help! And the, 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 instead of skirting along the edge, which he ends up doing anyway, skirt around the edge, he waits... For Anna to swing down from the castle so he can lob it to her. <laughs> that, that's the easiest plan here to get the vaccine. What? Dude, you are such a fucking nuisance in this movie. <laughs> Getting vicious. <laughs> Getting very vicious there. Jesus. The pacing's horrible. Yeah. They didn't need the whole get him the rum scene. That is just wasting time. The whole run scene, period. Yeah, because, like, like you what was the just, point of getting him to run? You could have just had that whole action sequence in that, in my milk. Yeah. And gotten Van Helsing infected with the viral thing there. Yeah, because, I mean, what was the point, what was the plan of getting <sighs> Frank Sides around? Like, the, the, why would you Dracula, still, you were sent there to defeat <clears throat> him. Why would Dracula just not go to Rome? Yeah. 
terrible, not enough things. Yeah. Like, nothing you have is taking him down. What makes you think they could? What makes you think they have something that's going to take him down? Right. And elves. Ah. There's so, a trans, nothing out once a trans swinging horse. So they fucking fly. <laughs> <laughs> they fly. You know they fly. <laughs> they don't have to run. That is true. That is true. Um, Anna is both a badass and the worst damsel in the world. All in one. All in one. All in one. Because she does a lot of cool fighting scenes. Oh, yeah, she handles her, but then you see... But then every time she gets says to square up with someone, she needs saved. Every time. Like, from the first go, she needs saved, because that blonde and the red, black, uh, the red and black-haired vampires got her down. All they gotta do is bite her at this point. But then in the beginning of the film, you see her going, like, Showing off bad moves on the wheel. Yeah, but even that plane with the shit. That plane was doomed from the moment it started. That is true. But then, like, she needed to save from the party because Dracula had her under the spell. And all he had to do was bite her. What are you doing? <laughs> this is the second time all you have to do is bite this woman. Then again, Red has her pinned down at the end. All you gotta do is bite her. What are you doing? There comes a time where it's like, not one of you just fights her. <laughs> yeah, get it done That's with. all you gotta do. Get it done with. I have to fight with um, Dracula and Vampire, oh, Werewolf Man Helsing at the end. All you gotta do is bite him, dude. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Let me stick out my claws and scratch the wall. Like, that's not gonna do it. What are you doing? So now, what's well, your... No, I'm not done. Uh-oh, there's another con? Yeah, there's one big con. Uh, what's the one big one? I fucking hate that book with the vampires. I when they're in the, when they're actual in the vampire mode. I yeah, that look. That's that looks so good. cartoonish. Not good look. It doesn't translate well here either. It, the CGI for that is great. We praise the werewolf. You know the werewolf. The look of the werewolf was good. The CGI to make it look more on the cheesier. <laughs> I thought they looked better in a human form. They could Even have with their extended them. mouths and everything, when they're trying to bite something. That would have been perfect. Yeah. Well, you you get the party scene, too. You had a room full of vampires just to die the next moment. <laughs> and he just blows out that fucking grenade. The, like, the solar light yeah. fucking grenade thing. Well, somehow that he was able to... He was making, I don't know what it's for. I don't know I have it. <laughs> this is what it's for. But you make the weapons. Yeah. So how do you not know what it's for? Well, he knows what it does. He just doesn't know what it's for. Okay. But, um... Yeah. So now, it almost seems like these the pros and cons kind of balance out. Yeah, they do. They really do. So what would your grade be? C+. Plus. Sounds Because I think you can get... You can still have fun with it. You can have fun with this movie. My thing is, like... You can tell right off the bat that it was going to go on the lighter side of the dark side. Yeah. I think, like... Well, no, the tackle. Let's talk about the tackle. The his death. What did she die from? I don't even... I didn't... Like, I couldn't even... When she died, I, I was like, wait. What killed her? Yeah. Because you didn't show... Because you're trying to ride this PG-13 line here. So there's no... Woo! But she's bouncing off of everything. Left it. If she would have died at the beginning of the movie, too, with the black-haired vampire with the car. Because Red dropped her head first into the ground. She was gonna like land on her hat. She's gonna be dead. <laughs> then but the black red, the black haired woman caught her. Like, why'd you catch her? <laughs> yeah. But uh she is smacking off everything left. And, and then right. she dies off the soft hat. And she she he tackled her onto a couch. See, that's what I thought. Like when when she died, I like, was like what Break happened? her neck or something? But like again, she's bouncing off but everything. You can't right. even say that because she still popped up enough. Like if she broke her neck, she would be paralyzed. She well, I don't up. think, uh, I think she spiked him at the same time he hit her. So I think she was administering it while she was being. See, I was under an impression that she popped up because he was ready to attack the friar. Like, he was still envisioning. No, no, no. That was just him looking down and seeing it in himself. It was already right. there and everything. No, she got the stab and the injection during the tackle. But like, what did she, what, how did she die? Because again, She's bouncing off of everything. <laughs> yeah. That's that's 
I'm giving it a C because you know, I feel like this ain't gonna. I do like the twist on Van Helsing. Yeah, I like the I like him being a monster hunter. I think he should just be independent. He didn't need the friar. Right. Uh, I love the world of all these monsters inside of this world. Yeah. Um, the werewolf. I love the werewolf. I, but not the vampire. Not the vampire. No, that vampire is much. Yeah. So you're, you're gonna laugh, but like Fiona. That that's kind of the style of vampire I always right. like. That's why Fee looks like Fee. Because that's the vampire like look I like. Yeah. I, as I said, I'm giving you. Even here this movie with just them along the gate and mouse. That's, that's this, a good vampire. This film wanted to be a fun ride. It, you can tell Danford wasn't going to look as a, like a dark horror type of film. Even though I think like the opening shot. Oh, the black and white animation part. That, I, I did enjoy that. Yeah, that was a good little call. You know, back. if they had just kept this movie black and white, I think I would have given it like it was, I Yeah, because it, it would have looked, it had a different feel. They would have had a different feel style. The only thing I, I didn't like about the Van Housing character, I do like the mystery past. But the one thing... Well, they were talking like he's like 300 years old. What yeah, because Dracula yeah. was like... Because he's, he's the left hand of God. I think they got too smart with themselves on this. Yeah, they wanted they something need, You didn't need to do this. Yeah, that's why I started off because I'm like, Dracula's talking like, oh, we had many battles before I know who you are. Yeah. It's like, dude, Dracula's like 400 years old. Like, now you're saying Van Housing's is some type of immortal. Well, even but they made that. Terms that he gets converted to a world. Even they before that was done, when he's talking to Friday, Friday's asking, what, what was the last thing you remember? He's like, you really want to talk about this? And he told him something. He's like, that was in the third century. He's like, I know. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, the only thing that I did feel at this point is like how comical the, the Van Housing character was through some of the film. Because the film starts with him with that badass look with the mask on. And he's like, I don't want to go buck some shit up. Yeah. And then he becomes a little bit more watered now. Yeah. I didn't like that. I, I just think he was good, though. Yeah. He, he cared, though. He, he pulled that look off. Oh, that's yeah. The, that's the look I go for. <laughs> <laughs> Your inspiration. It's probably the last time you got a haircut. Probably. <laughs> Actually, this is only about two and a half years of hair growth going on here, dude. <laughs> but that is our review of uh, Van Helsing. Uh, C. C plus. And there you go. It. It's an average film, I guess, yeah, with the pros and cons. It's, 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 it, you can have a lot of fun with this movie. You can think it's boring. And there's this is in between kind of deal. Knock back some beers and some pizza, and you won't get up. There you go. Until next time. Bye bye.